I will teach you how to use this clothing system. Uh, by the way, I already update in GitHub and add some more you need to use this system, okay? Basically, this is not just like another clothing that has become an item. This has, or di these clothes have metadata. Metadata is this one, meaning uh, I will show you the difference. That's why I want you to use inventory with metadata versus the old ESX version inventory. There are some inventory uses uh, metadata example all items will be insert here when you are using a basic inventory system but all you can see for me is nothing there is no item in the database because all items will be stored here in linden in shared then you're going to use this uh, items example i will use this bandage i will i will spawn it you see there's a bandage but no metadata okay how can we produce this metadata item one basic uses is is the clothing okay this config is the cloud system I add another uh, files for you to make it uh, work easily uh, this is all the coordinates this is I add some here you see all skin can be buy if you want you can buy mustache or hair or eyes but it's not good in RP but if you want it's possible example I add the hair in your system there's no hair but in the update it has okay you just need go to the to the client in rkl underscore clothing because the other one is R rkl clothes here you just need to add below here b name equals here this here is this name okay or this one make sure it's the same and the name itself is in your skin changer okay make sure that it is correct because example the arms the arms is on the arm so I upload the ESX skin and the skin changer because I already changed the arms into arms underscore one for it will be no problem okay so okay after we put the hair this is the format if you want to see the blip just put the blip here okay so we can see the hair you can change also the uh, example we're going to one hair store okay because it's clothing this one hair does not exist we will change this into existing one we just need to go to rkl clothing go to lo locale en or any language you are using just like this one if you want to put all of them in a blip hair nothing hair shop because you can easily put a simple hair shop this is an item shop okay I just put it for my you know I just I just want to show you that anything is possible now this is the hair let's check let's change the blip if you don't know how to change the blip just go to blips of 5m cfx let's change it to this one 61 so we just need to change this to 61 this is the color to color to is green or anything we need to put yellow five let's try number five then let restart the rkl floating and then let's check if it change or it is i mean 
that is, that's the hairdresser oh the hair shop where we are wrong in the hair shop we change it to again 71 sorry my bad bad eyesight you see there is now a hair but the problem is it is a watch so we can change it also to get some emojis let's check if there's a scissor scissor is this correct <laughs> okay scissor just copy this and go to client client lua change this let's restart this is just an example you can change it or you can remove it and then press a for the barbershop you see that's the barbershop i will change the color no color for that hair okay let's get one okay this is my hair now let's get another one example this is a wig but the color is pew okay because i don't have custom hair you see i have two hair oh this one is the bracelet because i just copy paste it and you can see it here in the server lua ah, this one you can change it anything i will uh what you call that i will teach you how later you cannot change it right now because it's already saved in metadata so let's buy another so this is the hair okay we use it here we can use multiple hair in one you see i can change it if you want to learn about that skin you just need to go to this rkl client this one okay i'll explain it again now we're done in the server but first how will it save okay it's the same after you buy it will check the price you have put different prices and if you have money you will pay for the price and next is it will trigger the save it's still ESX accessory save <laughs> but it's good you can as I told you this is just a modified ESX accessories this one example this one add inventory item accessory item skin because this one is the uh, accessory one and this one is the accessory two so I just put a variable this is just a variable you can change it anything but make sure you uh, memorize it and this is the description the description is the one you are seeing here here this is the description you can put uh, anything here just make the format okay to concatenate if you know how to concatenate some strings you just need to put that one so it means if i add inventory the t-shirt the accessory one and two it will save it will save automatically in my inventory not in the items in my inventory so if you go to my uh to my to call that to my account we will check if it's already saved or it's it has a delay okay go to your inventory which is me this is me copy this one let's check it so you see the data is here it's saved description this is a bracelet accessory 13 accessory 0 slot 6 because he is in slot 6 count 1 hair metadata description this is a bracelet you see that's how it's saved not in the database or not in the something it's an in a json format okay that's how it saved the item okay and then after that after you get that after you get that it's already saved how can you call it back 
by using linden, so this is linden, by using linden, I will call the hair this one. This is the format. This is the function. Item weight and CB. Okay? And then you will just use this. This is the most important thing. I use two metadata because I use two metadata here. If you use only one, accessories only, just call the accessories only. Okay, this one. And I save it to variable skin1 and skin2 and learn about the pad component variation. This is the head, the skin, the, the shirt, the torso, anything else. You can check it by copying this one. Go to, just type this. I don't know the site. Go to the native slua. They call it native slua. Then go here. And you see, this is it. The number. I use the hair, number 2. So that's why it is number 2 here. The mass is number 1. It's dependent on the number. Then after this, when this is the cloth hair, you check again in the item. In the item in your uh, Linden inventory. In Linden inventory, there's a shared items. Search for the hair. I already provided it in the in the links this is the here this is the event copy this and put your event this is a client event I call the client event here and that one and it's ready to go for the bonus if you want to put some animation just like this it's here it's below this is our progress our progress is already in the link just download it okay then check for the this one this is the animation dictionary you can change you can put label you can change the position okay you want to move or not it's up to you and uh, only the logic we use or the statement we use if and else if not here meaning if here is false so it's automatically false when it start that means you can uh change your hair after that you can remove it this is the clear cl clearing of the hair okay that's it and one more bonus if you see this one this is a new big load because in my esx skin when you create character example this one there is no t-shirt in the selection okay there's no t-shirt in the selection or any dress. So you need to provide the newbie. So this one will check if he is male or female. This one is the male. Let's check it. So this one, the item is newbie. So change it. It depends on your server clothes. This one. This is the uh, t-shirt one, t-shirt two. Torso one, torso two. If I spawn the name newbie, I already provided it also in in the linden. So this is the newbie. If I use it, I receive this one. I receive all the shirt I need. You see torso 15810. This is torso 15810. If you're female, this is the one you're going to receive. If you're a policeman for uniform, you can also put that one. Let's check it. This is the police uniform. Yeah, that one. Now, I have a police uniform, you see? I don't know if it will pitch in my server because I don't have skin or... Do you mean that? So, this is not existing in my server, 11101. Okay? So, that's it, I think. If you need to ask more questions, don't forget to follow and subscribe my page. Also, my Facebook, okay? Thank you, thank you, and have a nice day.